Hello and welcome. This is Melskunner, and we're back with some more Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries. And we've arrived at a new star system, so it's time to accept a new set of missions. And the mission we have is on Talon, and it's called Moonlight. And it is a Davian mission, and I will point out from here on out, we'll only be getting Davian missions because Steiner has blacklisted us, so we won't expect any more missions from them. Any missions that would have been at the system that would have been theirs, we will no longer be seeing. In any case, the mission is Moonlight, investigate a communication disruption between the Supply Depot and its attendant orbital launch site. Davian's been losing Supply Depots and launch facilities all over Talon. Less than 24 hours ago, the Antari facility ceased broadcasting work logs, and since then has not been responding to radio or landline communication. Aerospace recon was forced off by ground fire. The Davion liaison is offering assault wages and full salvage for us to go in and eliminate any hostiles on site. All right, I already set up the two lances that are that are under my command. I will be piloting the Fafnir that I just set up. Falcon will still be piloting the Daishi. Rufus will be piloting the Atlas I was previously piloting. Shredder is going to get one of the Gladiators, Hannibal the other. Then we have the two Longbows, one being piloted by Bullseye, the other by Spirit. And then lastly, we have the very last Heavy Mech and our Lance command and that is being piloted by goof and it is a mad cat we'll eventually be cycling this out uh, if we get a salvage of another assault mech but for the meantime it's going to stick around let's go ahead and launch it's a good bet the davions are expecting a reprisal this time watch your backs and keep an eye out for powered down spotters ah. i'm not sure exactly what she says there but it sounds like ass Commander. Just to head over that rise, you should have visual on the depot. Marking depot, nav point alpha. Cold start! Alright, cold start means that there was a mech powered down. Looks like a scout making tracks for the depot. Nail him. Oh, I see him. Okay, we really laid into him. I'm just going to let him go. Uh, I expect he won't be alive much longer. A lot of enemy Target up ahead of us. I would imagine a mixture of vehicles probably. Yeah. So we've got at least one mech. A lot of vehicles. Contact nine out of meters. Ground pounders dead ahead. All right, we'll be able to heavy contact with enemy vehicles and mechs. No discernible markings. Acknowledge. Let me know if you get an ID on any of them. I'm gonna try and stop about there. Oop. I was about to say that's a good vantage point to pick away at these guys at range. I would say until people walk in front of me. Okay, we got the mech. Go ahead and focus on that. Now, your zeals are medium mechs. They do have uh, pretty high firepower, though, with those PPCs. Let's f focus on the other one here. Okay, I'm just being patient here because of friendlies in front. Okay. A nice PPC shot. They are possibly flanking. Let me get up on this uh, hill. I can get a good vantage point on the vehicles in front. A lot of vehicles over that way. Hey, this looks like good enough. Ship on site, not responding to IFR. Ah. Consider it hostile, people. Looks like it's in a power-up cycle. You might want to deal with it before it goes online, sir. Copy. Got it. Looks like the Black Cobras. Our old friends from Halloran? How quaint. Looks like they've been busy rebuilding. It's no secret they have little love for us. Watch yourself, sir. Time for some payback. Okay, luckily I have reactive armor, so we're not taking too much damage from this. These vehicles. But these guys are quick, so it's kind of a hard target. Ooh, there's a big boy. Might be a demolisher. Yeah. Let's uh, pick him away at him while he's at range. 
There we go. Down you go. That's uh, one hazard we don't want to have to face. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Okay. Target destroyed. Let's turn. It's like uh, taking care of... Well, these guys are just sitting there, so we'll take them out. Oop. Dropship. I want to back off because it... Possibly very dangerous firepower. I can't target it, so it must be powered down. Usually when a target is powered down, you can't target it. I want to kind of stay in this position so I can get cover behind this uh, hill in case it uh, powers up. Because they were saying it was powering up. But we just keep hitting it with our long-range firepower. I'm reading a power spike from the Rothstar, Oop, there it goes. We'll wait for our cooldowns. Back off a little bit. Uh, those are some gauze rifles it's thrown at us. I'll just duck behind the hill as it fires at me. Wait a little bit for our cooldowns. Hope they weren't planning there we on go. leaving in that dropship. Depot secure. All hostiles eliminated. Oh, right behind us. Looks like the rest of the Cobras. Excellent. We'll settle this grudge match once and for all. Roger. This is Colonel Burr of the Black Cobras. Today, my boy, you're going to get a lesson in payback. We're a long way from Halloran, Colonel. But you are just as outclassed here. They don't give up easily. I don't know if you guys remember the Black Cobras, but they were on one of the early planets. There's a lot of them. And they're right in my back line too, which is not really set up for close in fighting. Ow. A lot of uh, mechs I haven't seen in a long time though. We're taking some heavy damage here. Jeez, I whiffed some shots there I shouldn't have. Mad Cat taking big damage. Hopefully I won't regret having taken it into this fighting. Okay, that one's down. Let's try and turn around here. Ah, come on. I'm at like max, uh... Come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me the shot. Okay, heavy damage. Alright, Argus up ahead. Wow, we wrecked him. All right. I took some heavy damage there, though, so I shouldn't. Reinforcements destroyed. The Cobras are history. Castle, let's get salvage in here. They'll be pulling a double shift, just stripping weapons. Report depot status to the Davions, and get TAC ops in here as well. I want the mobile field base online in two hours. Roger. Salvage en route. Updating mercenary liaison. Castle out. Well, I'm glad we uh, spent the Cobras have been routed, and rumors on Nerfnet points towards potential disbandment due to insufficient unit strength. The fight here on Talon is coming to a head, sir. Our next mission could very well decide our course through the rest of the Civil War. Now that uh, briefing is given with the assumption, because this this system, I could have jumped to this one first. That this could have been the mission that blacklisted me, or actually this could be the mission that leads up to the blacklist. But we are already blacklisted, so uh, that's already passed. I will point out I'm glad that I went to this planet second, because that was a tough mission. That was a lot of uh, enemy presence, uh, a lot of uh, mechs especially. And although they were lighter mechs, a lot of them... Just by, by sheer numbers, that was really threatening. And I did take some pretty good damage. I was able to keep out of a lot of it. Uh, unfortunately, one of our longbows is going to need repairing. So let us move on here. We do get a Ryokin and an Uziel. I'll be selling those immediately. Uh, and we get some weapons as well. Let's go to the mech lab. We'll repair the longbow. Probably need to take a look at what mechs I have. Uh... To see if any of them took damage that would strip a weapon out. Doesn't look like this longbow did. The Mad Cat took some heavy damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're good. And then we have the Gladiators. 
So that gladiator is fine. I know I didn't lose any weapons. We have the other gladiator. That's good. And then the Daishi would be the last mech. Okay, so nobody lost any weapons. Let's go to the free market. And we'll sell off the... The two mechs that we just got, really. So we got a uh, Uziel. Don't want that. And we got a Ryokin. I'll be selling that. And then... That'll be good. Let's go ahead and sell those two. We now have a ton of cash. I, I could very easily buy more assault mechs, and I am tempted to do so. So we could buy, let's see, we got a gladiator. We got a couple gladiators. We could buy, let's see. Hmm. Well, we can switch to assault mechs. That makes things easier. Mad Cat Mark II. I mean, I'm tempted to get another Mad Cat Mark II. We had one, but then it, it went down. Eh, why not? We'll buy one. Although, at this point, what are the longbows like as far as... Oh, there aren't any longbows. I guess there we already bought what stock there was. I guess I didn't really think about that. Yeah, but we'll buy a Mad Cat Mark II. And buy it. And we will set that up. So, as per usual, we'll paint it. Doesn't need jump jets, so we'll get that tonnage back. Um, I'm happy with the weapon loadout, although we could always improve it. And I think what we're going to do, get the LRM-10s out, and we'll replace them with LRM-20s. I may have to buy some, uh, because I think we're out. Yeah, if I look, LRM 20, we have one, so let's hop over the free market. Yes. Uh, for now, do that. Okay. Uh, continue. Okay, so weapons, go over to the LRM 20s. We'll buy, we'll buy four just so that we have more in the stocks later. Bye. Close. Okay, let's go back over the Mad Cat Mark II. Okay, weapons. And we have a lot of tons here of uh, available space, so LRM-20 should fit easily. And actually extra ammo. Okay. No extra ammo so far. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. There's a lot of things that we need to switch around. First off, we'll make it slower so that it's the same speed as the other mechs that we have. That puts it at eight tons left over. We're gonna wanna up armor it, so let's max out that armor. That gives us four tons to work with. Heat sinks, uh, heat efficiency, maybe not the best. Well, I'm gonna give it extra ammo. I'm thinking about removing a medium laser possibly. Maybe even two. One might be enough, and then we just put one into heat sinks, and that makes it relatively heat efficient. Okay, that's not too bad. It's got good survivability, it's got good firepower, and it's a mixture of ranges. That's good uh, mech for uh, AI control. We could give it a Beagle Active Probe, but I'm happy enough with what it's got for now. Let's go ahead and save that on up. And we'll hit OK. So it has a good long-range support, which uh, will work for us because of the position that it will be in. We'll be replacing the previous Mad Cat with the Mad, Mad, Mad Cat Mark II. I do have to consider the fact, though, that one of our longbows is going to be out for the next mission. So as a matter of fact, that Mad Cat might still be uh, used. But we'll uh, do that in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.